Well, hello and welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. If you recall, what we're doing is we're all quaking in our booties because there is the Darkest of Dungeons requested of us. It's a town event. There is a Hamlet event thingy. The old town crier is ringing his old bell there with his dentist appointments. And there is a brigand raiding party descending upon the Hamlet with explosive fury and murderous intent. It's a level 6 dungeon. I don't know what happens if we don't do it. But all these people are not coming with us. I think our best idea here is to bring this party here because they are the least stressed. They're not completely upgraded, I'll grant you. Uh, we have at least some way to go to upgrade these two. We should probably at least try and upgrade their damage. But we want to make sure they're in the right position. So you have got not Iron Swan. You have got Iron Swan. So you're going to switch. There we go. And you've got not Iron Swan. You've got if it bleeds. Great. Uh, obviously, having these diseases is probably going to be uh, to our detriment. And this being the darkest of all dungeons, I strongly suspect we will not succeed. But let's have a look in the Hamlet to see what we can do in sort of these situations here. Miri has obviously leveled up beyond their uh, natural progression because we had a town event a while ago which upgraded our Houndmasters as long as we left them in the village and we did. We could afford to upgrade many of these people. We should probably do that at the very least. Can we afford to upgrade this? No. Mm, so, oh, actually, if we replace, if we trade in some of these for four of these... Like this, we now can. Not necessarily worth it right now, because uh, we're not going to spend any money. But at the same time, having it done is a kind of peace of mind, really. We had a crap ton of, que of crests because we just kept collecting them, which is fine. Um, and at this stage, I think, honestly, the only thing I'm worried about is D dying from taking a lot of damage, but still. I think we're okay in that regard. Um... That only really leaves... Well, Miri here has got... These are fours. They can go up to five. But we definitely can't afford to do that until people start dying, which I'm trying to avoid, but you never know what's going to happen. Um, these are all upgraded as far as they're going to go. Uh, tell a lie. Creature has a weakness. An achievement was unlocked. Hero trains so this is completely face. upgraded, which is actually very, very helpful indeed. It means we only have to worry about the blacksmith. And even then, we only have to worry about this. This is the only thing we've got left to do. Uh, I obviously can't afford to replace enough things to get that to work, but that's really good. Um, then it's only a matter of money. Being able to afford to upgrade the units before they actually cop it and die completely. Um, the, other, the other buildings we haven't really put too much investment into. Although if Zeke could go in the... No, Zeke will only... Visit the brothel. Hmm. That's over here. How is this upgraded? Pretty poorly. Although we can definitely afford to upgrade All this to some extent. Maybe afford to... 20,000. We'll see what we come back with. I fully expect to be running away from this mission. Don't get me wrong. Uh, excuse me while I have a sip of water. You know how my voice gets when I try and play the Darkest Dungeon. It immediately goes to all shit. Now, let's have a look at this. It's a short mission, <clears throat> which is great, because we want to do as little as possible to get this done. I have no idea what this boss is like, the wolf. Um, and I haven't looked at the wiki. I shan't. So I'm hoping <coughs> that this DPS-heavy system here, this DPS-heavy set, is going to help. Now, can you mark for yourself? Yes. Okay, good. So now we all, really, all we really need to think about at this stage is trinkets. And we've done this double Hellion thing before, and I think it worked out quite well, just because of the massive amount of damage output you can get from the Hellions. But I think we need some accuracy here. Definitely on the one that has Iron Swan, because that has a, um, a penalty to accuracy. It's not if I... That must be a, a result of it being upgraded, actually. 95 is actually pretty good. <clears throat> I think earlier on, 
it has a, a higher penalty. But we still want accuracy because we want to hit as many hits, or as many uh, shots as possible. And of course, anything that has dodge, it ends up uh, helping considerably with that. Maybe some less stress damage is actually a decent idea. Uh, this is a below 25 torch thingy, so that's obviously completely incompatible with the above 25 torch thingy. And you are not bleeding, it's... Well, do you have a bleed skill that we care about? There is bleed out. Maybe we should take that. I mean, we do have two of them, so Tim can have one as well. And Tim's definitely going to be doing, if it bleeds, um, quite a lot. Because it does do a lot of damage as well, and it's got a 100 accuracy base, so that's also actually quite a strong skill for us. Uh, less stress damage is a possibility, but I'm thinking maybe... Now, come to think of it, if we give this one to Tim, now hear me out, if we put the one that gives us way more accuracy for being at the front, where is it? What does it look like? I've forgotten. I don't think there's any of these. Oh, more damage in position one. That seems pretty decent. Uh, less speed, but that's fine. And then we can use this one on Tim, because... Having more accuracy on something that's already accurate may sound like a bit of a waste, but actually I feel like it gives us an even greater chance of causing much more bleed damage from Tim's if it bleeds, uh, yeah, if it bleeds skill. Although it does debuff us, that's not the one that debuffs us as well, so I'm remembering this completely wrongly. Barbaric Yap obviously debuffs us, and I believe if it bleeds debuffs us. So being able to use bleed, uh, if it bleeds so much, and of course it only hits the middle two, but still, it is what it is. It could be uh, really good for us. Having extra accuracy on that just to make sure it lands as often as possible could actually turn out to be really valuable for us. Uh, let's sort by character class restriction so we can find the ones we want. This is our Vestal. <clears throat> you know what I've done. I haven't unequipped it from the other Vestal and now I've got to do all the fucking stuff again. That's a bit of a pain. Um, if you watch an XCOM 2 playthrough, I don't have one. If you watch somebody else do it, you'll see that there's an unequip from everybody else button. Which is much more sensible. In my humble opinion. Brawler's gloves seems like a good idea. That could be a wrong decision, that brawler's gloves. I'm quite prepared for it to be the wrong thing to do. But we shall see. Uh, stun skill may be something we want to make good use of. Scouting chance uh, below 51 is no good at all. Um, I mean, there's a sniper's ring. Which is more accuracy and less speed. But you've already got low speed anyway, so you would be basically going last. And that's presuming it doesn't actually work in the negatives. It may do. Um, you also have a bleed skill, which is really nice, actually. More bleed resist. We're going to be using this somewhat, I expect. And this one, in fact. Because this one not only does the bleed, but it does the extra damage versus marked. And here's our stun one, but, you know, we've got a better blackjack. So I think we actually do want to take the bleed amulet. As rare as it is for me to use it. And hopefully um, D can keep up and these people can at least tank some of the damage that we'll be taking. Retreating will result in the death of one of your heroes. I say we do it. <laughs> Someone's going to die, even if we retreat. But we need to move this series on. People will die. Um, by my own foolishness, if I don't do it wrong, if I if I do it wrong. So I'm just going to take as much as I don't even know what we're going to get here. So we'll take basically everything. Um. I don't know who's going to die, <laughs> but I'm fairly sure that somebody will. But no one's died in such a long time, and anyone who does die, dies because I didn't retreat in the first place, so... I feel like this is worth it, is what I'm suggesting. Um, even if we do have to let someone die as a result of running away, we get that space in our roster. We can start bringing new people in. Oh, goodness me. Well, no scouting for us. I guess we go this way. Oh, okay. So it's a sort of a standard ruins run, I expect. 
Let's we'll see if we can kill these. We do have good damage on these. So yeah, that's an excellent start. That's exactly what I like to see. Shank on D is fine. Resisted the bleed is also fine. Um, you can take a lot of damage and bleed out. Seven is okay. I would have liked that to have done more damage, but you will be dead on your next turn, so I'm kind of okay with that. No one dodged it, but D hasn't been yet, so we can, you know, you can use our uh, perfect. We can use our party kill. We just do this. Um, I obviously want to focus on one of these two. Party heal. And it might as well be the one that's closest to us. Although, that being said, Tim's attack does hit the middle two, so that may not be the greatest thing to do, but we could just do this, right? Uh, two damage per round for three rounds. I say we go for the guaranteed kill. Even though it's kind of wasteful of the previous move. Uh, we can hit this unit with everybody, so that's good enough for me. That is also fine, although it does move merely into the wrong position. I'm actually mildly optimistic that this is going to be okay. We can't hit that with that. But we can hit this one. Could have killed it. Uh, no, it couldn't, sorry. It was always going to be one away, but I think that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Perfectly happy with that. We've got a new torch. It will reset. There is an obstacle, but we provided for this. We didn't know what we were going to get. So we were very much expecting these. And of course, the annoying... Well, to some extent, annoying thing. Apart from the fact I've never seen these before. Is that we don't know which one of these two to go to. So there's a 50-50 chance that we have to go all the way back again. Uh, what are we on here? 76. That's okay. Um, do you bleed? Yes. I think we use it because it has high protection, or some protection. It's not high, not compared to things we've seen before. And well, we do have two animals here, so we can use our um, advantage versus beasts. And I say we try an iron swan again. We're not going to kill it. It does have high dodge. But we've got to try, right? It's done some damage to it if we keep laying that on. <clears throat> this may be a couple of rounds. This could hurt this round. Um, but we came into it with a good amount of HP, so I'm not hugely bothered. <coughs> Excuse me. We could bleed everything. But we could probably... I don't want to use a mark, although it does take away some protection. You've got dodge and not protection. You've got protection. These all have dodge and not protection, so I'm wondering if we just do a damage versus beast and hope for a bleed. Oh, that was really poor. So we may be here a while. <laughs> At least D has another go. A debuff. Less dodge. It is what it is. Keep people topped off. At some point we're gonna... Oh! <coughs> Terribly sorry. Um, At some point we're gonna want to heal people directly. I think we're at that point now. Two crits in a row is very demoralizing. IRL as well as in this um, particular. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, right. Stop. For goodness sake. Use a bandage. Uh, you can adrenaline rush. Which does increase you. It, it buffs you quite well actually. So I think we do it. And the reason for that is that it saved us a bandage with which we can remove a bleed. Oh, shit. I was expecting that, but I wasn't prepared for it. Um, yeah, it removes us. It saves us a bandage, which removes a bleed. Why have I got this on? I can't even use it. I should turn that off. Remind me. Uh, and it, it heals us a little bit, and it gives us that buff, so I guess I'm okay with it. Just kill something. Get something out of the way. That's a good start. Right, you need to heal Miri. I think mostly. Although anyone could be one hit away from death as far as I know. I mean. That's a good amount of uh, protection. You've got rabies, but we've had rabies before, I think. It's terrible. Another crit. We're okay. Mostly because Tim healed themselves. So we now maybe wicked hack this. We could kill it. It's got three damage coming off of it, so that's 11. We only have to roll 11. Oh, well, we, if it bleeds, which stacks it at one more, in theory, puts it on th six damage, which means it goes down to 
attacks, eight, which means we have to do eight damage. So I think we're actually better off with this one. Oh, okay, fine. Yeah, perfect. I don't mind. Do not mind that at all. Uh, you can do that as many times as you want. Don't want to really bleed out that dog, I think. I would like to stun it. I honestly hadn't realized that this stun was actually at the back. Uh, it was not available at the back. It's a major mistake on my part, but... You know, <laughs> we all make mistakes all the time, I guess. Um, please use this and then heal Tim. I'm reluctant to heal Tim rather than the healer herself, but at the same time, kind of hoping that we can uh, fix this later. Okay, we're still alive. There's, there's that. Um... <laughs> I'm not sure it's all that, to be honest. Oh, fuck. Well, I was going to make you do that anyway, so that's fine. Use a torch. Maybe I get you to eat a bit. Yeah. Has anyone got that thing that makes them eat more? Uh, nope. Nope. I think there's one where you get more food below 50%. Honestly, lethargy on a healer is not that bad. That's also fine. That's not so great, but at least it's more damage. Um, I want to change your thing. I don't want this. <sighs> I guess we can use this if the heal is in trouble. That seems most sensible. Hopefully this is the boss and we don't have to worry too much. We are safe. -ish. In radiance, may uh, eat. Find victory. Twenty-two, nineteen, twenty-one. Can't eat anymore. Eat that. We'll use the dog bone if we need to. That seems like a good idea. Not the boss. <laughs> Unless we just have to clear it out. No, one brigand of a wolf, so... I'm very glad that you missed. If I bleed you out, what happens? 13 to 25 damage. And a bleed. That's 65% resistance. Versus 12 to 22, which is actually less damage. We we'll try and iron swan that. I think we try and kill this and suck up the debuff. Even though it's early, I know it's a bad idea. Um, but I really think that that's probably worth it because that's two rounds for that dog, basically. The stress is actually fine right now. We haven't taken too much. D is a little bit on edge, but the only stress damage we've really taken has been from uh, well that sort of thing, but also crits. Um, so now we try and if it bleeds, maybe on this one. Got high dodge, very high dodge. We did hit it, not for the highest amount, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. But you know, I would have liked to have done better. Um, I don't really want to use. Maybe we can deprop this. That might be helpful to another unit. It doesn't do any damage to it though. That's the trouble. This does damage versus Mark, so if it's still alive, we can at least attack it. Or maybe we just beat the shit out of this and hope for the best. Because this does bleed. And that's already got three damage per round. So I think this is actually a decent idea. Because if we add another bleed to this. It's got 10 HP and it's doing... Oh, no. Shit, bad. It's doing five damage per round. Two rounds. So it's basically going to get hit one more time. It's going to get one more go, I, I should say. Um, before it's a problem. Before it dies. So it's going to be a problem one more one more round. There's a lot of crits happening <laughs> against us. But this is a level 6 mission with people who are not fully upgraded. And remember, I, I was suggesting that we would have to run away and somebody's going to die if we do that. Um, unfortunately, and it's very unfortunate, we are not going to get the opportunity to camp. You're not bleeding, so I don't really want to do that. What's this then? 4 to 9 with bleed. 7 to 13 without bleed. We yelp and try and stun it. It's a stun, right? Yeah. Stun resist 70. We could stun it. Do it. It works. So this thing's dead. It did get a second go, but that's okay. This one's dead. We now mark the target. Get rid of some of that. Please don't. Right, get rid of that protection. I've only got dodge. <laughs> it's just shit. Uh, I hate it. 
Uh, now we bleed out. No, we can't bleed out. Right, you're an iron swan duty. <gasps> Thank you. That's excellent. Unfortunately, it does get another go. Uh, but that's fine, I think. Everyone's so badly off. I'm still on. Th oh, I should have used a bandage. Shit. Nine, twelve, seven. You're actually closest to death as well as being the one who I don't want to die. So I think we do this and hope that we manage to tank some more damage. The slow Good. Death. Good. Unforgiving. Argo? No. Oh, it's the problem. Exposed to a At least you got the crit and not you. Hmm. <clears throat> you got a high stone resist. Does it do damage? No. Hero damage zero. Like we could wicked hack with you, but I kind of want you to lead out with that one. So we wicked hack this. Hope he doesn't dodge, which is obviously what happened. But yes. I mean, that hurt you for more than it... Uh then you healed, but at the same time. Right, you bleed out. Oh, you fucking dick. <laughs> oh my god, this is the worst thing to ever happen to anybody. No one's on death's door. And we did debuff it. Remember that? That was actually a decent amount of damage. Decline is now on death's door, but it's her go. And a crit on a heal is actually really useful at this point. Right, my go. Can't if it bleeds it. We can adrenaline rush ourselves, but that may not be a good idea. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you couldn't have rolled a little more, huh? I mean, it's fine. We're going to win this fight. But we have to get to the other end. And if somebody dies before we retreat, somebody else dies. I mean, I'm very reluctant to suggest it, but I don't think we can win this. Oh, brilliant, thanks. Holy shit, what? What the fuck? <laughs> it's just, this is even worse. Not only do we not know where they are. Right, one more fight and we're out. Fail. Run away. No. No. We're gonna have to leave. We're gonna have to. Someone's gonna die as a result, but I'm glad to have tried this, you know? We've learned a lot. We're obviously having to sacrifice, possibly. Um. Oh, we can abandon the whole quest from here. We're obviously gonna have to sacrifice somebody, and I hope it wasn't Miri. There can be no glory in its accomplishment. But I guess Miri was the furthest. It was, uh, it was Doug. I'm very sorry, Doug. Um. It wasn't Miri. I was going to say Miri was the furthest away from their level in terms of their equipment. Um, but of course, Tim's level 6 as well, so it's not actually... In fact, they're all level 6, so all we had to do was spend more money on them. But I think this is worth trying. I'm very sorry that Doug has finally left us after... This is, what, episode... Nearly 70? You will know 69 or 70. I'm pretty sure this is episode 70. Feelings. So Doug has lasted this long. We did reach level 6. Uh, but unfortunately, we did not succeed in that. Is it still there? No. So, I don't know that anything terrible happened as a result of us failing to do that. Vaporfonix died, ensuring the bandit raiders were delayed. So, by going there and running away, we have delayed the bandit raiders. That's the, at least the flavour text for this, which me, suggests to me we've put off whatever would have happened if we hadn't done that mission, but we had to sacrifice somebody to try it. Um, we could have won. I don't think we had much of a chance. That was very difficult. Uh, but we could have won that, in which case I assume we would have... Well, we got the reward. There was a reward to get, which we didn't get. And we haven't got very much money left, so obviously we're going to have to go back to the... Uh, Dismissing people type game down here. We have got some people who we can send on a mission if we so choose. So I think, it, therefore, maybe we should have put Sir Jairus in beforehand because then we could have done something. 
Um, I mean, I think this is fine. Why are you not in order? Let's put Sir Gyrus in for some something to you. You won't drink. Fair enough. Uh, we'll do this. What is your major malfunction here? Bad humours. Uh, it's okay. We'll do that. That's obviously very expensive. That's about a quarter. Oh, excuse me. About a quarter of our stuff. Uh, but we have lost Doug. We've got a Vestal though, so Doug was not in vain. A sister of battle, pious and unrelenting. Let us rename this for our fallen hero. We'll uh, we'll continue this trend where if somebody named dies, we will resurrect them as the second as their sort of spiritual successor there. But. I'm not sure how long I can keep that up for, because we're going to need at least one or two people who we dismiss every time they get stressed out. But in the next episode, we don't have to deal with that sort of shit ever again, so maybe we try and do something easy. We can't really take um, Sir Jairus there. Well, I can't even take them to this because it's level 1, so we're going to have to take them to a level 3. This seems fine. But we'll probably do something up here with these level 3s, try and get them raised up, raised up. Or maybe a level 4, 5 mission. Like we need to get a lot more money in. Uh, and dismissing people is going to be the best way to do that. But we don't really have the space to dismiss people. So, well, that was a very difficult mission. I'm glad I tried it. But unfortunately, we did not succeed. Nevertheless, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode and hope you enjoyed learning along with me. If you did, don't hesitate to leave a comment to explain to me quite how poor I was at this. All the mistakes that I made as long as you do it in a civilized and well-spelled fashion. But until the next episode, thank you for watching and I'll see you then.